Hello, I'm Mike Smith with RAS Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to set the basic calibration for the upper beam. So if you find that you've been in a program and it's clamping too tight, or it's clamping too loose and your material is slipping out, or if you in fact change the potentiometer, you can teach the machine where zero is so that it has a correct dimension during the program. So now that I'm in the uh, control here, I'm on the program screen, and for this scenario, I'm just going to say that the uh, upper beam is clamping too loose or too tight, and I need to correct the zero point. So to do that, I have to exit the program screen with the main menu button, or the one in red, the double square, back to the main screen. And once again, to get, I have to go into the parameters, uh, the three button press, which is the jump or JP button, the enter button in the bottom right hand corner, and this double square button, all three together, and it changes to the parameter page. From this page, um, of the two basis buttons at the bottom, I'm going to select the one with the upper beam shaded in, which is F5. And it takes me to the upper beam basic calibration screen. The bottom number on the right hand side of the screen shows me where the beam actually is at this moment in millimeters. The numbers on the left, the zero minimum position and the potty voltage, which in this case would equate to zero. So 1.5 volts would equal zero. So I'm going to clamp the beam down using the F8 key, which I have to press and hold. And then I'm going to press the left foot pedal halfway down and the beam is going to begin to clamp. Now once it's clamped tight and there's no visible daylight underneath the beam, we can assume that that's zero. But the machine believes that it's still open three millimeters. So to correct this, I'm simply going to press the F2 or teach in button, which sets the potentiometer voltage listed at the top into this position. And the millimeter dimension on the left changes, on the right changes to zeros. And I can use the up arrow key to raise the beam, which is F7, and it's going to start to lift, and I'm going to raise it to its maximum position, which is 130, as it should be. And then, just again, I'm going to test my zero by pressing the F8, holding it, and pressing the left foot pedal halfway. The beam begins to drop, counting as it goes and it should get all the way to zero, which it did. Now if the beam is a little too loose or too tight, you can simply place the beam at zero or tight and set the zero position. If you find that you are... I'm going to raise it up to say two millimeters and tell it just for now that that's zero and that's as far as it will ever go. It's just too loose. So I can hold the button and press and it still doesn't move. It won't get any tighter. All I would do then is I would highlight the potentiometer number over on this side by pressing the cursor buttons, which moves it to the middle. Just keep pressing the right hand cursor button until it moves back to the potentiometer number. And essentially I'm going to lie to the machine and tell it that 1.5 is where zero is which changes this to 11 now, and it'll let me clamp it to the bottom again. Once it's at the bottom, once again, F2 to teach it that position for zero. And that is how you set the zero point for the upper beam on the turbo bend. 